Hi, I'm Amanda Beard, seven-time medalist. I get my aquasphere gear at swimoutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. Check them out today. This is the Morning Swim Show for Tuesday, October 11th, 2011. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings, and joining us in the Finis Monitor today will be Felicia Lee, who has just started her sophomore year at Stanford University. Felicia joins us right now from Stanford. Hi, Felicia. Welcome to the show. How are you today? Doing well. Thank you for having me. So uh, how is your sophomore year going so far? I know you just started just a couple weeks ago. Right. We just started our classes two weeks ago, but I've been on campus since the beginning of September, and it's going really well. Um, swimming, training really well, and classes, I actually find them really interesting this year. So, How's it, How are classes different um, sophomore year than freshman year? Um, you get kind of, you get more of a choice of what you want to do. So this year I'm doing the human biology core, which is what I'm thinking about majoring in. So um, it's something that I'm more interested in than, I, freshman year I kind of took different courses to see if I really wanted to do the pre-med track or if I really wanted to do the science part of, you know, school. So you say you wanted to get into biology. Anything specific you want to do in that field? Um, right now I'm thinking something in sports medicine or brain and behavior. Maybe something with a mixture between the two, but it could always change. You know, that's what I hear a lot from swimmers. They always want to get into something sports related. Um, is it just because, you know, you've been a swimmer all your life and you kind of, you know, you've been involved in that. You kind of hear, you know, you get massages and things like that and you kind of, get an interest over the years through that? I think so and also like swimming and mainly sports has been like always a big part of my life like I love football I watch like tennis and so it's like it's been a really part big part of my life growing up and it's something I don't really want to lose in touch with and something I want to keep working at like as I get older. Will, do you think that sports medicine career will um, keep you in swimming or is it like do you think you want to get into football? Um. That's undecided as of now. Um, I do want to stay like in the know about the swimming world because it has been a huge part of my life, but I'm not sure if I'm going to stay you know, that connected to it. All right, so Stanford's already had their first dual meet of the season. Um, I know it's early, but how does the team look so far? I think we look good. I mean, we did lose some key people, but we also brought in a great class, um, and they stepped up the first meet. And like you said, it was the first first meet of the season, and I think that they they did really well. Um, it's looking pretty good. I, I'm confident in what we can do this year. Is the motivation on the team different this season because the Olympic trials is approaching? Um, I don't I don't think so. I mean, depends on like what do you mean by that? Well, it you know you've got you've got the Olympic trials coming up in June and so everybody's got to focus on that as opposed to last year where um, you know what Olympic trials was a little bit further away so knowing that the Olympic trials is just around the corner relatively um, you know is the focus you know a little bit more intense or is it pretty much the same as it was last year I think it's the same as it was last year I mean going to these meets you have to take them one step at a time obviously but Olympic trials is you know always in your mind because it is this year but, I mean, you still train as hard, you still, you know, you still want to be at that top level at NCs as well. Like, it's not, you can't compromise. Give me a sense of what it's like in a typical uh, practice at Stanford. I, I know you guys work hard, obviously, it shows, in, <laughs> it shows in the championship meets, but, you know, is it all work? Do you guys, you know, laugh and, and have, a, have a good time there? Or tell, give us an idea of what it's like. An idea. I mean, we definitely work hard. Um, I have an ama I have some amazing trainer training partners, but I would say we like to have fun too. Um, during closer to taper, <laughs> I tend to sing a little more at practice, so that's usually pretty fun. But um, we know when it's time to you know joke around and laugh, and we also know when it's time to turn it on and and race in practice. And even while we're racing in practice, you always hear someone like, "Come on, like you can go faster." So there's always someone speaking, someone motivating you through practice. How is Lee Maurer as a coach compared to Paul Yetter and Bob Bowman who coached you at North Baltimore? Um, they are similar but also very different in, in a lot of ways. Um, I think what I found between Lee, Paul, and Bob that all connected was 
they all motivate me by kind of not like yelling at me, but maybe in a stronger voice saying like, come on, please, like you can go one more, which is like the voice I really like to hear at practice. Um, but in another sense, they're all, they are all different. So when you're, so just kind of expand on that, when you're, when you're doing a really tough set, is it hard for you to stay self-motivated? Do you need that coach right there, kind of almost literally in your face to push you? Uh, I don't, I mean, no, I don't think so, just because all my life I've had some great training partners at North Baltimore and at Stanford. Um, it's just nice to hear some, a coach like, I don't know, giving you an extra boost at the end when you're tired. Now, when you were when you were younger swimming in North Baltimore, I think a lot of people were looking at you as someone who could be a great 200 flyer. But I've noticed at Stanford you're doing a lot more sprinting. Was that by design, or was it just kind of like a happy accident? Um, maybe a happy accident. I think I am going to start doing the 200 again this year. Um, took a little break last year from it. It's an event that is really tough for me, um, but I. Secretly, I kind of missed it as much torture as it put me through a couple of years ago. I mean, people say that they missed the 200 fly. I don't know how many people say that, but I'm, I'm saying it now to you guys. Well, good. We look forward to seeing how you do this, this season, and uh, best of luck to you and Stanford uh, the rest of the season. Thank you so much. All right. That's Felicia Lee joining us from Stanford University, and that's it for today's show. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.